Lowell's contribution to America in 1814 was a prodigious transformation and innovation, bringing changes to our venerated manufacturing process and introducing women to the industrial workforce, which later incited several women's rights movements. Born Frances Cabot Lowell was born in Newburyport, Massachusetts on April 7, 1775. When Francis Cabot Lowell was 23, he married Hannah Jackson. And later on, he had one daughter and three sons. One of his sons was named Francis Cabot Lowell II, and he inherited father's abilities and had the leading position in the industry. Francis Cabot Lowell was a member of an important family from Boston made up of lawyers, so they were all highly educated. He graduated from Harvard in 1793 and joined the trading firm of his uncle, William Cabot. He worked there for 17 years. He had good relations so he could go to, so he could go to England and study textiles and power looms. During his stays, he memorized the designs of the power looms and textiles, and in the following year, he came back to Massachusetts and made technological improvements to the power looms and collaborated with many others to start the Boston Manufacturing Company. The Boston Manufacturing Company was organized in 1814 in partnership with a group of investors known as the Boston Associates for the manufacture of cotton textiles. In the Boston Manufacturing Company, Lowell combined all the processes of spinning and weaving cotton cloth in one house. So basically, all parts of the cotton was made under one roof. This increased efficiency and was later known as the factory system. Lowell opened an American textile manufacturing industry in Waltham, Massachusetts in 1814, which was the factory system. It saved labor because all parts of the cloth making work was combined under one roof. It was also cheaper because they hired girls and offered educational and religious freedoms, which later led to women's rights. Francis Cabot Lowell launched a factory system and Waltham cloth gained immediate popularity because it increased efficiency. Therefore, the factory system, as a new arrangement, was a significant development and change on how goods were made, and an important part of the Industrial Revolution. Francis Cabot died on August 10, 1817. Francis Cabot Lowell died because of an illness at the age of 42. This was three years after building his first mill. Afterlife! After Francis Cabot Lowell died, a city was named after him called Lowell, and it is located in Massachusetts. Francis Cabot Lowell had a mill in Waltham, Massachusetts. It was opened in 1814. Over time, the mills expanded and became the nation's largest textile manufacturing center. Lowell had a young farm girls to work in the mills, and they're called the Lowell Girls or the Mill Girls. The Mill Girls were the age 15 to 30. The women who worked on the mill not only worked but lived there too. They were provided with cash wages, which were three times more than they were able to earn individually at the time. They were also provided with religious and educational activities. The news of the Lowell Mill soon spread, and all around the country, daughters of farmers or aristocrats came to the mills on their own for the educational opportunities offered there, or to earn a supplementary income for themselves. The mill girls were able to find new opportunities and make social relations. Some that left the company afterwards went in search for something better they could do with their lives. While their wages were only half of what men were paid, many were able to gain economic independence for the first time in their lives. As a result, even though later factory life was seen as oppressive, it allowed these women to challenge the myth of female inferiority and dependence. Ironically, one of the first strikes that ever took place in this country was in the Lowell Mills in 1836. When it was announced that the wages were to be cut down, not many were happy about it, and it was decided to strike out, or turn out, in Mosset. These strikes slowly led to the first women's rights protests. Many were led by the women from the Lowell Mills. For the women who found opportunities and jobs in the Lowell Mills, their lives were completely changed, and the effects of what Lowell had done by hiring women and providing wage impacts women's rights nowadays too. And the change from the cottage industry to the factory system is important because we base off our factories today on the Wells factory system.
or it will not have changed to what it is today if it were not for Lowell's Boston Manufacturing Company and the factory system.